Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Schwartz. I'm a professor at the University of Toronto, and I'd like to talk to you on behalf of the Ontario Tobacco Research Unit. I'm sure that you've heard about e-cigarettes. You've probably seen people using them or vaping. You may have even vaped yourself. You may be wondering if e-cigarettes are completely safe for non-smokers and if they're better than cigarettes for people who are already smoking. I'm going to try to answer some key questions using the best current scientific knowledge available. How do e-cigarettes compare to regular cigarettes? The World Health Organization defines them as battery-powered devices that are used to heat and aerosolize a solution containing propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, flavorings, and sometimes nicotine. There are many types of e-cigarettes. The most important distinction is between cigalikes, or e-cigarettes designed to look just like tobacco cigarettes, and advanced personal vaporizers, also known as tube mods and box mods. Cigalikes are disposable and have pre-filled cartridges. Advanced personal vaporizers are refillable and customizable in terms of e-liquid selection, vapor production, and nicotine content. They generally offer superior nicotine delivery. In Canada, it is not legal to sell nicotine e-cigarettes or nicotine for use in e-cigarettes. Nevertheless, nicotine e-cigarettes are sold openly in vape shops, and it is estimated that more than half of e-cigarettes used in Canada contain nicotine, the substance that makes cigarettes and other tobacco products addictive. So now you know what an e-cigarette is, but what about using them? Is vaping a good alternative for people who want to do something but don't smoke and don't want to smoke cigarettes? Absolutely not. On this, the scientific community agrees. The evidence suggests that the health effects and potential risks are such that non-smokers should not vape e-cigarettes. While they are often at low levels, toxic substances and impurities are frequently detected in e-liquids and e-cigarette aerosols or vapors. In addition, levels of particulate matter emitted from e-cigarettes may be comparable to that of tobacco cigarette smoke. And it is becoming increasingly clear that nicotine exposure in adolescents may have long-term effects on brain development and on nicotine addiction. All of this suggests that users may experience health effects as a result of e-cigarette use. But what about smokers? Would it be better to switch from smoking cigarettes to vaping e-cigarettes? The answer is almost definitely yes, if the person were to really quit smoking and make the switch. There is agreement that the known risks of vaping are far lower. But quitting cigarettes is really hard. How likely is it that smokers who try to switch to e-cigarettes will succeed in quitting smoking cigarettes? It is clear from the evidence that some smokers using certain kinds of e-cigarettes in certain ways may quit smoking. At the same time, most smokers who try e-cigarettes don't quit smoking. They are more likely to co-use or to switch for a short period and then go back to cigarettes. There is emerging evidence that some smokers continue to both smoke tobacco cigarettes and to vape e-cigarettes. Evidence suggests that e-cigarettes may be more likely to help a smoker quit when they are used daily, contain nicotine, and when individuals vape for the purposes of cessation. More research is still needed to identify e-cigarette characteristics that deliver high enough levels of nicotine to really help people quit. So there you have it. There is no cause for confusion about e-cigarettes. Just remember four simple things. One, non-smokers should not vape. Two, vaping is likely far less harmful than smoking. Three, some smokers using certain kinds of e-cigarettes in certain ways may quit smoking. Four, as of right now, e-cigarettes are not the silver bullet for helping smokers to quit. I hope that this clears things up a little. For the full study conducted by the Ontario Tobacco Research Unit, visit us at otru.org. That's O-T-R-U dot org.